What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at another Google SQL interview question. This one's mocked as medium. Let's get into it. This one's called Activity Rank. It has been asked by Google in July 2021. And our task is to find the email activity rank for each user. Email activity rank is defined by the total number of emails each user sent. And the user with the highest number of emails sent will have a rank of 1. And so on. We should output the user, total emails and their activity rank should order records by the total emails in descending order and sort users with the same number of emails in alphabetical order. In our rankings, we should return a unique value even if multiple users have the same number of emails. For tiebreakers, we should use the alphabetical order of the user usernames. So let's take a look at the expected output to just confirm what they mean. So we have a column for the user ID of the user that sent the email. We have the total email count and we have a rank, which is the row number here, which is one, two, three, four, five, even though we have a tie for 19 total emails sent as the highest value and 16 right here for users four and five. And as you can see, we would have the lower number, which would be low in alphabetical order if there was a tie. Here for the first one, a number is lower than a letter in the alphabet, so that's why we have this one on top. This question is available for free on stratastrategy.com, so you can head on over to right now if you click the link in the description, give this one a try and come back if you've completed the question or if you get stuck anywhere and just want to compare or get some hints, and I'm going to give it a try right here. So make sure to come back to this video or just stick right here if you just want to watch me try this question. So let's take a look at the input table we have. You can preview it right here. We have a ID which is sort of like a row number. We have the ID of the user that sent the email, that received the email, and we have a day which is pretty much a number for the day of when the email was sent. Anyways, let's get into the question. We do have a new feature in Stratus Scratch which is called Autocomplete. If you just make sure this lightning bolt is not struck through, then struck through, then you can use this feature and it's going to help you autocomplete SQL keywords or just names of fields that you have already defined. So it's quite useful and we're going to give it a try right here. So always start out by using our select statement and we want to get from user for sure for our output and that's what we base our total email count on. In order to count emails we're just going to count the job because one email sent should equivalent one row in the data set and let's call that total emails. We're selecting from this table called Google Gmail emails and in order to get the count per user, we need to group by from user. And that was just given to me as a autocomplete option. So right now we have the user ID that sent the email. We have their email count, which is not ordered yet. We could add an order by statement here, order by that count in descending order, and we would get this the right order. But if we use our rank window function to create a rank, this should already order the output anyways. So I'm going to use the rank window function here, as I said, because the question hints at creating a rank. And that's when you should always think about using a rank window function. You might also use row number here, which is kind of hinted at if you look at the column name of this final column, but I'm going to start out using rank. Our window function syntax is the window function, then over and in parentheses, partition by order by. I'd always just write that out to have it there and then think about what I have to use. So we want to create this rank of the entire output we have, and we want to base it on the order of the emails we sent mainly. Then we also have to think about this tie rule, but let's just give this one a try first. So let's think about partition by. Do we need to partition by anything? No, because we want to 
order will create a rank for the entire data set, not based on like a subset. We don't want to do this for a certain category of user or for a given day or something. So we can remove that and just focus on the order. So we basically want to order this by the total email count and we can actually use that aggregate function count in this rank window function. That's what a lot of people don't know. So you can actually use aggregate functions such as count, sum or average in this window function syntax. You don't have to create a subquery and then refer to it. You can do it in here. So I'm going to type in count star as well. I wouldn't be able to write total emails in here yet because it has just been defined or it's in the same select clause. So I wouldn't be able to just write total emails in here. I can use it down there in the order by or yeah, I can use it in the order by or group by maybe, but I couldn't use it in here. So let's see what that gives us. I'm just going to call this column R. Doesn't really matter for the solution. If I check it, if I have the right column name, but as we can see, we have a rank, but it is in the wrong order. So we have the lowest email count as the highest rank. So in order to change that, just need to specify that we want to order by count in descending order and then the highest count will be on top. So this one looks pretty good. It looks pretty close to our solution that we want to have. So we do have 19, 19, 18, 16, 16, which is the right total email count in the right order, but the rank does create these ties. We have one, one, three instead of one, two, three. So now let's get back to our input. So we should sort users with the same number of emails in alphabetical order. So in order to do that, we're going to add to that order by and have a second column, which is going to be the from user column in ascending order. Ascending is the default value, so we could omit that here. So I always say, but let's keep it in for clarity. So let's run this. So what this does, it, it, it is creating the rank based on the total email order. And then if that is the same, after the comma, we specify what it should use after that. So after that is the same, it's going to look at the from user alphabetical order and it's going to have the lower one with the higher rank. So this creates one, two, three, four, five and what we want, even if there's a time. So let's check that solution. I already solved it before, but it is correct. That's when this appears green. We could also use row number in here to get the same result. And that would also be accepted. So that's it for that question. If you haven't given it a try yet, head over to Stratascript with the link in the description. It's going to take you exactly to this question and you're going to be able to run your code for this question for free since it's marked as a non-premium question. Apart from that, that's going to be it and I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.